Hello everybody, welcome back to the table. Today we are taking a look at one of the newest knives from the Rough Rider Reserve Collection. So this one right here is the Rough Rider Denim Micarta Lockstock. So what we have right here is a knife with a three inch blade and about seven and an eighth inches of overall length. And so what makes this knife nice is that it is a lockback design, but it has some throwbacks to the traditional slip joint folders that we know with the Rough Rider Reserve line. So let's take a closer look. So what we have right here is a lockback folder. And what's really nice about this knife is that we do have a half stop on the blade. So as you open the knife, it will open and stick at the half stop, half stop mark, just like a slip joint folder would. And so that's kind of a nice addition for a lockback knife. But this is a 3-inch D2 steel blade with a nice satin finish. It's this very lovely clip point. And of course, it has this nail nick right here. But being a lockback design, it is very easy to just pinch open. But of course, what really drew me to this design, um, besides the actual looks of the knife, are the materials. So we have a denim micarta uh, handles on here. So these covers here are a very smoothly polished denim micarta, very similar to the Rough Rider number one that we have right here. So this is the, the Easy Open Jack, I think it's called. And they both have this beautiful denim micarta. Denim micarta has got to be one of my favorite flavors of micarta, so I make sure to try and pick up as much of it as I can. And of course, we also have on the handles right here, we have this very lovely shield, and it's that arrowhead design that a lot of the Rough Rider Reserve knives carry. So when you open this knife, it has a very easy, very nice walk and talk. It's very simple to operate, very easy to open. Um, the blade came super sharp out of the box. And of course, the Rough Rider Reserve line is meant to be perfect out of the box or as close to perfect as you could expect, because of course, they are meant to be a step above the standard Rough Rider line of knives. So when you look inside the scales here, inside the handles, you see a nice clean construction. There's very little gunk, very little grime, um, unlike what you see on the standard Rough Rider offerings. But that being said, this is a full-size knife in my opinion. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be in person. Even reading the specs, looking at the photo, I figured it would be a little bit smaller for some reason. Um, so what I have to compare to it right here on the table, I have the um, Great Eastern Cutlery. This is the number 83 uh, Tescosa Lockback. And I was thinking it was going to be more in this size range. But as you can see them side by side, this the, the Rough Rider Reserve number 12 is significantly larger. I also have another Great Eastern Cutlery. Again, I thought it would be uh, somewhat like in size. This is the, I think it's the number 94, and this is the Liberty model. You can see this one is a slip joint, so it is not a lockback. But again, it's much smaller in overall size. I thought it would be similar, but um, just side by side, you can see the, the number 12 is a little bit larger. So I actually kind of like this size. To me, this is kind of the Goldilocks size of knives, because a lot of our traditional knives, they generally have, you know, somewhere between you know, two and a half, two and three quarter inch blades. And this one right here is coming in at a little over three inches. It's about three inches of cutting edge, but a little bit longer than that, including the entire length of the blade itself. Um, but right out of the package, of course, everything looks really nice. The pins are nicely set. The shield is smooth. There are no gaps in the liners. There are no gaps in the covers and the bolsters. Everything is exactly what I would expect from the Rough Rider Reserve line. So what really excites me about this line of knives is that, again, they're number one, they're affordable. They cost a little bit more than your standard Rough Rider, but they are still attainable. So most of them are going to be around the 50-ish dollar mark, definitely less than 100. Whereas if you're looking to buy a U.S.-made Great Eastern Cutlery slip joint or other traditional style folder, um, if you look for aftermarket prices, they go crazy. They're out, out of this world. But Rough Rider Reserve, the whole point of this line is to make these really interesting patterns 
um, somewhat more widely available. And the fact is, you know, once they sell out of a run of the Rough Rider Reserve, they generally make more. It might be in a slightly different color or, or a slightly different cover on the handles, but they are going to make more of them because they're trying to meet that customer demand. So, of course, that being said, if you haven't realized it by this point, Rough Rider and Rough Rider Reserve knives are made in China. So these are made overseas. Um, but that being said, these are very nice quality. So every aspect of the knife is very clean. It's very crisp. And that's the whole point of this run of knives. If you've never bought a Rough Rider Reserve knife before, um, they kind of try to evoke that same that same pattern, that, well, not pattern, that same style as Great Eastern Cutlery in that when you take it out of the box, it comes in a tube, it comes wrapped in the wax paper. It kind of gives you that same feel of a, a traditional slip joint or a traditional lock back knife, you know, the same way you would get it from a U.S. manufacturer. So they're trying to kind of emulate that quality, that hand feel that you get when you open that package for the first time. And of course, these blades, pretty much everything in the Rough Rider lineup, Rough Rider Reserve lineup so far, I should say, um, has come in D2 steel, which is a great compromise. It's a very, very durable steel, um, not quite stainless, but still it's going to hold up very well. And so really the only thing I can think that traditional fans would want would maybe be like some, some 1095 steel or something similar, some kind of carbon steel like traditional folders generally use. But I think D2 is a decent compromise, um, especially considering that these are coming from overseas, that um, properly heat treated D2 does a really good job at edge holding. Um, and of course, the fact that there are so many styles in the Rough Rider Reserve lineup, and there are more to come. And that's what really excites me for this whole line. Because if you look, the main place where I buy these is going to be Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And if you just look in the Rough Rider Reserve section, they have a lot of interesting patterns coming out very soon, if not when you're already watching this video. Um, and they don't all have photos yet, so they describe what they're going to look like, and I'm kind of excited about what's to come because the first few runs of Rough Rider Reserves, yeah, you know, they were standard, you know, emulations of classic traditionals, but they're kind of getting a little more out there. Like the fact that this knife right here has a half stop and it's a lockback. Most lockback knives do not have a half stop. Most locking knives don't, but we have it on this knife right here because, again, they're kind of going a little bit out there. They're sticking to these somewhat traditional patterns, but we are still getting some really interesting features on each and every knife that you may not see in a Grady Sneaker Cutlery knife. And so that's, again, one of the ways while they're trying to emulate GEC, they're also taking a step back and saying, okay, what can we do different? How can we innovate? How can we make things better? And so that's what we have right here with the number 12. This is the Rough Rider Denim Micarta lock stock and so it has that very much gun stock shaped handle very nice hand feel everything is smooth all the way around um, so if you have any questions about this knife if you're curious about um, any of the features that i didn't mention here in the video feel free to drop a comment below i would love to hear from each and every one of you i hope you enjoyed sharing this with me because i really am excited about all of the rough rider reserve lines coming out very soon so i hope you all have a nice day everybody See you later. Bye-bye.